Greetings and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Neverwinter Night Shadow of Undren Tide. Right, let's let's go collect some remains and finish up getting the rest of the quest ready. Now I have to decide which one of the companions I want to bring along. So, nothing in here. All right, just double checking. Getting all the remains that I can. Every gold coin counts. Don't think there's too much interesting stuff in the house. Yeah. Don't want the meat. Can't use it. Or the fish. I mean, at least it's thematically proper that. There's some uh, foodstuffs in the kitchen, rather than random gems and gold pieces. Right, so who do I want to bring along? I do need someone to watch me. And currently I cannot tell how many hit points each one of them has. And already I find usually the start of this game a little bit trickier because of the limit on which kind of uh, companion you can have with you. It's either Dorna, Xanos, or someone else we'll find later, but which we cannot use in this uh, chapter anyway. So really it's either Dorna or Xanos. Now usually I've taken Dorna with me because, well, I sort of like a story, but also usually I just need a thief because I don't want to bother specializing in, in disarming traps when I'm not playing as a, a rogue or similar character. However, because I have a familiar, that shouldn't be a problem. Oh, so let's, uh, let's ah, take this out. It seems the dwarf has finally gotten himself into a bind, and now he needs us to come to his rescue. I'm going to head out and look for Master Zerogan's stolen artifacts, but he suggested I take someone with me. And you think I should accompany you? You think that I want to retrieve these artifacts from Master Drogon? Yes, I think you do. Very well then. Janus will accompany you in this task. Drogon will likely reward us well when we succeed. Now, that's fine and all. Ooh, more remains. Cute. Misha, if you would kindly get out of the way. Pick up the bag. Give me the bag. It's another gold coin. Have you any news of the Alright, let's ask you some questions. What would you like to know? Tell me more about these artifacts. I know a little about these artifacts, but keep in mind that anything I tell you comes mostly from memory. I wish I had more detailed information to offer. Let's see, if I remember correctly, there are four artifacts in total. A mummified hand, a dragon's tooth, a statue of a tower, and a mask. Alright, tell me about the mummified hand. It belonged to a powerful leech named Belthoron. As I understand it, the hand was all that was left when he was destroyed. I remember it being said that some of Belthor Belthoron's power remained in the hand. Perhaps someone is trying to tap into it. Or perhaps... One of Belthoron's old followers wants him resurrected. If that was the case, it would be a terrible news. Belthoron threatened to destroy Faerun the first time. We certainly don't want him trying again. Tell me more about the dragon's tooth. A remnant of a great worm. Oh god. A festagon. A festagon, yeah. Next to Megatron and Starscream, I think. A great dragon that also wielded most of the evil of the Black Arts. The dragon died long ago, but it's possible the kobolds could have some interest in it, seeing as they are of draconic origin themselves. I have trouble believing the kobolds are the instigators of this theft, however. It's more likely they serve another. Perhaps even a dragon aspiring to have a Festagon's power. Tell me more about the tower statue. I... 
actually do not know much about that. I believe it was found in a desert too many years ago, and one of our wizards detected powerful and destructive magic within it. The nature of the magic could not be discerned, however, so it was put aside to be kept safe until more could be discovered about it. I have my doubts that the statue would be of use to anyone. Perhaps its theft was only incidental because it lay with, it with the rest. And tell me more about the mask. That once belonged to a high priest of the Lord of Shadows, I believe, and it imbued with considerable power, though nobody has figured out how to use it. Seeing as the God of Thieves rarely produces items for benevolent purpose, it was decided best to keep the mask safe and out of the followers' hands. Perhaps someone has figured out how to use the mask's power. If so, any amount of mischief could be expected as a result. Right, so of those four artifacts, I'm thinking the tower is probably the one that's important because the game is trying to obfuscate it with saying, well, we don't know anything about it. The thing you don't know anything about is usually the most dangerous. Or at least the most seemingly dangerous. So why are these objects so dangerous? All four of them have considerable power of malevolent nature, although we have yet to discover an application for any of this power. The fact that the power exists could be tempting enough for some, and it's very possible there may be someone out there who knows more about these artifacts than we do. The trouble will be figuring out which artifact the thief is in fact, aft, uh, is in fact interested in, and what they intend to do with it. Considering the nature of these items is certainly evil. Well, why were the artifacts kept here then? Why not somewhere safer? And where exactly would somewhere safe be? Behind the walls of a keep, surrounded by guards? A better way to announce that you had something of value. No, the Harpers believed that this school was remote enough and nondescript enough to be considered safe from molestation. For many years that has indeed been the case. Hmm. How about something else? Uh, I could ask about the Harpers, but to be frank, I don't really care about the Harpers all that much. I mean, I care more about the Harpers in when they uh, appear in Baldur's Gate uh, 2, because they have actually got something interesting to do with the story. But here, no, not really. Especially since they're just designated as an organization that is uh, poised to stop evil. That's That seems almost like a step down. I mean, at least the Harpers, as I learned about them in Baldur's Gate 2 and 1 for a little bit, as far as Jahira would talk about it, they were just there to preserve balance, which is not entirely the same as preventing evil or stopping evil. Certainly that would be part of their portfolio, but they would also stop a good king that would just push too far. Now. You could technically ascribe that as evil, I suppose, but that's kind of a stretch. But anyway, I'm, I'm ranting a bit about lore that I probably don't know enough about. Because when I have played these games, I do not know anything really about D&D lore. Well, not much, at least. What can you tell me about the kobolds? Only very little. I came across that tracks when crossing one of the mountain paths through the nether mountains to the north. When I realized they had left the highlands and come down into the valley, I became alarmed. For kobolds to range so far from their home caves is unusual. Kobolds are tiny draconic predators that rely more on their cunning than the strength to survive. For them to be so bold means they have either much to gain or much more to fear. Uh, tell me more about yourself. You want to know more about me? Whatever for? My past isn't important here. I suppose you are right. I'm not trying to be unfriendly, Matissa. It's just that there are far more important things to do here than chatting with each other. Well, then I have no more questions. And I should be going because I don't have any anything done. All right, that's why. Let's head back upstairs. I kind of don't want to resummon my familiar, and I think it's still up here. Uh, 
And so Xanos has 8 hit points, which is more than me. Alright, so let's fiddle with your inventory. That's the one improvement in this particular uh, expansion that I really do like. Alright, let's open up my inventory. Which can I which I can do much more easily from here? Yes, you did forget, forget to tell about that trap. Alright, wand of acid, potion of aid, and some spells. Scrolls. Alright, let's rest up, because I want to summon my familiar. Because beast, based rather, is a little bit more integral part of my plans. Because as you may have noticed, it's a fey. It's and also a rogue. Which means she is able to open up and dispel traps if I tell her to. It's sort of like having an actual other member on the team, really. Think again. All right. Well, he can't do anything, and I don't think Beast can either. So let's hold on to that. All right. So can I script a tick lock? Consider it done. Actually, follow me. Consider it done. Right, I can unsummon you. There's got to be more actions I can give you. I can possess the familiar. Mm. I suppose that will have to do then. Uh, whoops. Yeah, don't really want to bother with that. And let's head for some more supplies in the cellar before we move on beyond the wide range outdoors. And truly get immersed in the story. Because I have not told, talked about that just yet. I do find the story of Shadows of Wandering Tide much more engaging <laughs> than the whole story of uh, the original campaign module. Oh, but we can get into that as we move along. Let's first actually get onto a request. Oh my, what is this? Is it another kobold come to wreak havoc on Master's things? Will Risi will fight them? Yes, she will. She will protect her Master's things this time. No, 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 it's someone I recognize. Gladdens my heart, yes it does. Hello there, Mataisa. What happened here, Risi? Risi was in great danger. Yes, I was. I was here when the stupid, ugly kobold stole master stuff. Yes, yes, yes. I'm still being Risi. Oh yes, I am not dead. That is a good thing. But you should be knowing that the kobold stole master stuff. Yes, they did. But I see you cannot help, for they are gone. And that is sad. But Risi feels something is wrong with the master. Oh, tell me what happened to him, please, oh please. Well, I have no vested interest in lying. Uh, my persuade skill, I don't think it's that good, actually. Let's see, persuade... Yeah, it's only three. That's because of the charisma. Yeah, no, I put much more points in bluff, I think. Or I will do. But, that's fine for now. Master Drogon was poisoned by kobolds. Oh no! Oh no, poor, poor master! Poor, poor Risi! If master dies, then Risi will all be all alone. Risi should go up to master. Yes, she should. But master wanted Risi to stay down in his laboratory. Oh yes, that is what he said. And Risi must obey kind master. Oh, Mataisa, Risi feels terrible right now. Maybe if we talk a bit, you will make me feel better. Yes, yes, I love to joke. You want to hear a riddle? Oh, tell me your riddle. Oh, yes, yes, my riddle. A fine choice for a fine woman. 
Here is my riddle. A woman has five children and half of them are sons. Is this possible? Yes. Oh, yes, yes, it's true. Rissy think you are smarter than you look. Or very lucky. Well, thank you very much for that backhanded compliment there, Rissy. It is true that the other half of the children are also males. She must have five boys. It is a trick, you see. I never said the other half were not boys. You want to talk about something else? Yes. Yes, why do you want to find out what the annoying little dragon past has to say? If we make it think, perhaps his head would implode. Rissy sees that you have Xanus with you, and he thinks he knows very, very much that he should be able to answer all questions should he may be having. Yes, he should. Alright, that will be enough out of the both of you. Amatai, Sazanas and Risi talk like this to each other all the time. It is only playful banter, nothing more. Questions are not as good as the riddles, unless the questions are riddles. But you can ask and I will try to answer. Can you tell me exactly what the couples did? Oh, it was terrible. Yes, it was. It was just about having a nap and dreaming about lovely meadow filled with flowers and butterflies. It was wonderful, Matassa. Yes, it was. Do you have dreams like that? Yes, but please get to what happened. Well, I was woken by dreadful noise and immediately turned invisible. When I saw the dreadful kobolds were in the house, I thought Master Drogon would come here right away. I saw them coming in the laboratory and I knew they would not get across. I thought it was going to be such a fun watching them from behind this magic circle. I was about to appear to them and taunt them. Yes, I was. But then they stopped. You would not believe what they did. No, you would not. They threw dust on the circle. A little dirt disrupted Drogon's protected magic. It must have been magic dust. Oh yes, but it would not have worked. No, no, no. Stupid ugly kobolds walked right over the symbol and looted all of Master's things. Well, maybe not all this stuff. No, no, no. There may be some stuff left. Little bits of stuff that stupid kobolds not think would be important. Or no good find. How do I get into the laboratory? Oh, Risi no can tell you that. No, no, no. Master never tells anyone that. Except for Risi. And now Master is upset. Oh, yes he is. Risi can feel it. Yes, yes, yes. Master trusted Risi to protect his treasures. And now Risi has failed. Never will Risi fail Master again. You know us to get in here anymore. No, no, no. Surely you can trust me to go in. No. What are you, stupid like kobold? He said no. Me, me, no. But wait. Rishi knows what is going on. Yes, she does. And you will not be tricking her, nasty little kobold. What are you talking about? You must be kobold in disguise. That is what I mean. You will not be getting past me, nor will I bring the treasure to you. Unless, maybe if Risi could test you, then maybe you, she could bring you master's items. Yes, yes, yes. Maybe Risi could ask you riddles. That would be good. Yes, it would. Ask me your riddles. You answered one riddle correctly already. Yes, you did. So Risi will just give you two more riddles to answer, because she is kind and caring. Yes, she is. A prisoner is going to be killed and told by the executioner to him uh, that him must make one statement. If the statement is true, then him will be drowned. If the statement is false, then he will be hanged. What statement can he, uh, can he make to confuse the executioner and not be killed at all? Well, I will be hanged. Yes, 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 that is the thing to say. Then the executioner cannot hang you or you told the truth and you should drown, he should drown you. If him drowns you, then you lied and should be hanged. You will be pretty smart, much smarter than Kobold. I am thinking, but Kobolds turned out to be smarter than me, thought them uh, break master's ward. This is a hard riddle, so you should take some time to figure it out. Yes, you should. Are you ready? Yes. There is an island which is deserted. Yes, it is. This island has four fruit trees, each one with different kind of fruit. There will be a group of wizards who visit the island each year, for they like it. Yes, they do. Each wizard eats two types of fruit, but each group of two trees can only have one wizard in common. Which means only one wizard can eat from the apple tree and the pear tree. 
So, what you must be telling me is, how many was belong to this group? Um. Four? This is supposed to be a challenge? There can only be six wizards using this island, though the riddle itself is as foolish as any I've ever heard. It is very smart of you to know that. It took Rissy a long time to figure that one out. I guess she must be who seemed to be, and I will have to trust you to help Master. I will go fetch the items for you from my secret hiding place. Rissy hopes you will make really help Master, Matthias. You take him and help Master. I worry about him much as yes, I do. Good luck. Be with you, Matthias. You will need it. Alright, well, math fail on my part. Not really that all that impressive. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time.